Good morning guys, uh, welcome to our uh, third and final day. Okay, we're, uh, we're going to do a short little haircut today. So if you've never uh, joined in and seen what Edge Academy is offering, we came up at the weekend to do a three days, three haircuts, just to give thanks uh, because it's Thanksgiving tomorrow here in the US and we just wanted to give thanks to all our friends and followers, uh, some free education. So we started with a long shape, then yesterday we went into more of a mid-length and today we're going to chop it all off. All right, so we're going to go into a short haircut. All right, so we're going to go into like a little short, kind of like, you know, pixie-ish, textured little crop, uh, but approaching it in maybe a different way than you normally do, okay? Uh, the last two haircuts we did, we, you can find them on Instagram Live, or you can find them on our Facebook page, at Edge74. So we have our Instagram page at Edge the Academy, or we have our Facebook page, Edge74. Okay, and uh, you can find all the videos on there. Okay, if you're watching live, I want to say a quick hello to the people who are watching live. Thanks for joining us. It is just gone 9.30 in the a.m. Uh, here in California. And uh, we're going to literally just crack on and do a, a little short haircut. Okay, so the inspiration today was a uh, short, choppy little crop. Uh, she's got a lob from yesterday, so we did the seamless long layers, we've done a lob, and now we're going to obviously take it into a little crop. Alright, so I've wet the hair down already, alright, uh, we're pre-sectioned, so if you want to see the sectioning pattern, you'll be able to see that. So we literally work from a radial, from the crown to the ear, so we subdivide the hair into two, okay, then in front of the radial, Okay, we've literally gone a horizontal section, quite low as well, so it's below the curve of the head. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're not going to disconnect. Okay, so I know the sectioning pattern might look like you're going to do an undercut, or we're taking it shorter through the underneath, but all this haircut's going to be connected. Okay, uh, I just feel like sometimes it's nice to disconnect, but sometimes it's just nice to connect and do a, a, just a nice little haircut that way as well. Uh, you know, with our advanced programs at our academy, we do disconnections, we connect, we work with graduation, layering, you know, different techniques. And uh, I was playing around with some shapes this morning, thinking how, what can I approach? How can I do something slightly different than what I always do? So I thought, oh, I'll just connect it today. Uh, but again, if you're working on thicker hair densities, uh, someone with much less hair, you could take this shorter, then you could slightly disconnect the top if you wanted to. When we get to that, we can talk about the variations, all right? But today, it's all going to be connected. We're going to introduce some layering through the top. We're going to graduate through the underneath. Uh, and we're going to leave some elements of length for some femininity to it. And then we're also going to be um, taking it shorter in certain areas. So we're going to have some focal points, which are going to have some interest, points of interest. And then we're going to obviously take it all short as well. Okay, so uh, sectioning pattern. Radial, horizontal, underneath the curve of the head on both sides, and then it's diagonal as you can see through the back going into a little V. Okay, making sure the point of the V on a real client would be around about the occipital bone. Okay, so think about where the O bone is. This would be literally where the O bone is. What we want to do, we want to create graduation here. We're going to work on like a rounded graduation in the nape, and we want that to hook. The head shape and hook the nape so then went above the oboe which is within this triangle this will be coming down onto a stationary guideline to build up more weight and more shape okay so that's what we're going to end up doing so it's just literally so someone just said i missed the sectioning pattern okay so i'll literally tell you it's a radial from crown to the ear horizontal below the curve of the head on both sides and then literally a large triangle to the oboe, all right? And we also post these videos as well after the live so you can revisit it and uh, get inspired. If you've got a client who comes in, she's got short hair and you wanna do something slightly different, uh, you can do this approach. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the, the back area. So I'm gonna carry that radial down. And we're just gonna push that little front bit out the way, okay? If you want to, you could also clip it out the way, 
if you want to just put a clip in there like so and then we can concentrate within the nape area all right so what we're going to do now we're going to work within this nape area i'm going to take it all off as well guys we're going to go pretty short on this haircut so if you were joined us yesterday you would have seen this cut into a lob so what we're going to do today we're going to cut this completely off and take it shorter it's not a, a dry haircut the last couple of haircuts we did them dry because we got requested from our followers to do a dry haircuts um, it's not a massive thing i do but uh, it's kind of nice to see something dry uh, what i'm doing now i've wet, it, wet the mannequin down and we're literally going to crack on and do uh, this haircut from wet to dry so we're going to work diagonal backs all right uh, i'd probably use that clip because i haven't got that many clips all right as we all know clips are always hard to find in a salon you go to work with five clips come back with none all right and then what you'll start to see there there's the first section what we're going to do okay there's a few people waving all right so hey hey hello everybody how everybody's doing lots of waving going on nice to see what people are saying hello all right so there's we have a nice little profile shot to show you what we're going to do so we've got the radial in there we've got the horizontal the diagonal back and then we've clipped the top out of the way so underneath the curve of the head is where we're going to start to graduate ignore the front okay we're going to start in the nape area so we're going to go from behind the ear diagonal back to the center of the nape and we're going to elevate this out at 45 degrees it's a graduation okay so to get it on a bit of a profile so you can start to see the elevation so we're going to work my fingers parallel to the parting all right i'm going to take this nice and tight guys as well all right i want it to be short all right if you will feel like you've got a client who wants to leave it a little bit longer you're more than welcome to all right so you can see like literally bringing that straight out i'm going to move my mannequin head so you can get different angles of the shot all right and then we're literally working parallel to the parting so what that means is my fingers are parallel to my parting so i worked a diagonal back section so my fingers are also working diagonal back so we're mirroring this section so this section what i put in here this, this section what i'm putting is literally then working parallel parallel and parallel okay i'm not over directing i'm not leaving it longer in the middle i'm working following the head shape okay it's working on a round graduation okay once you're happy with that we can take the clip out there and we can do another section how many sections you take depends on the density of the hair okay so if you're working on thicker hair types you take more sections if you're working on finer hair types then you can take less sections okay if you can't see the guideline and you can't see your previous section what you cut don't guess it okay so now what you're going to do i'm going to use the fine teeth for the comb and comb me from underneath to build up that weight and that graduation my fingers are like perpendicular parallel to the parting or t to the parting again personal it's, it's where have you been trained guys you know i've been saying that over the last couple of days you know we've all been trained in different colleges cosmetology schools um, different brands some of you would have been on some different education from different companies and everybody has their own kind of terminology or language to talk through a haircut all right so in this case what i'm doing i'm just working parallel to that parting perpendicular or t to the parting at a 45 degree elevation okay and then we're continuing okay so in a way i'm taking probably four sections if some of you are experienced hairdressers out there and you're watching this and you're busy behind the chair you get away with like maybe two or three all right obviously our audience are different from all over the world we have people tuning in and we have different experience you know different levels some some people will be watching who are more of a student and then we have some people who are maybe salon owners watching this so if once you know the rules and you feel like you understand this technique then you can get faster and quicker by maybe placing a larger section in there okay so what we're going to do now in the last two sections here i don't want to go too high with my graduation i want to start to keep that little bit of shape in there if i go too high my graduation then ends up turning into a layer okay so all of a sudden i feel like i'm at 45 and then all of a sudden when i'm up here I'm at 90 okay and what does layering do it takes out weight 
what does graduation do? Creates weight. All right, so I want to put more shape into the hair, hairstyle. So as you can see then, my elevation on these last two sections was a little bit lower to maintain a little bit more shape. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm using the large fine teeth of my comb. And today I'm using the smaller scissors from Edge. All right, these are our classics. These are the classic 6.25s. There's a lot of people who are watching who probably use these as well. These are our pop most popular scissors to buy in our, bland, in, our, in our family. These are the 6.25s offset. Uh, and they're uh, the Hitachi Japanese steel. Uh, beautiful, highly polished, okay. Handcrafted to perfection, all right. Beautiful, used by some of the best hairdressers in the world have been using these. And uh, they're available in our Black Friday sale. So we're having a sale over the weekend because it's uh, Thanksgiving here tomorrow in America. And we'll be uh, doing our Black Friday sale. So there will be a discount on our shears. So if any of you are watching and you feel like I want to get a new shear or a new scissor, uh, you know, this is maybe an opportunity to get one. Okay, so if you can see then that last section now, we just comb it down onto the previous section. All right, so my elevation's not going too high. There's nothing much worse, and then all of a sudden you've gone too high, exposed the occipital bone, not complementing the head shape, and all of a sudden introduced the layer. Okay, so you can see on a profile there, we're literally just working a nice little rounded graduation all the way through. All right, so working parallel to the parting. So parallel to the parting, we've gone 45, 45, and then a stationary 45, and a stationary 45. And my finger always parallel to the parting. So my parting is my best friend. If you're like, I don't know where I'm going, I'm not sure where I'm going, which way should my finger be? Then all of a sudden, you just go back to the parting and parallel to that parting all the way through. Okay, once you're happy with that, Okay, and you've literally just rounded one side off. Now we're going to introduce the opposite side. Okay, so we're going to do this side now. So we'll literally work the front away. So anything in front of the radial, just ignore it. Okay, and now we're just going to work behind the ear. Okay, so you've got that area there. Right, so we're going to work diagonal back. So grab all that hair. You know, keep it nice and clean. Clean sections, clean the haircut. Okay, and then literally now what we'll do is working with my fingers down, working parallel to the parting. You haven't got a guideline, so if you find this kind of tricky to do, what you could do if you're new to graduation or you're a hairdresser who's watching and you're still at beauty school, yeah, and you're doing and you want to learn this technique, what might be quite nice is to put one section here and one section on the opposite side, get it absolutely balanced at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom of the nape. Once it's perfect, then you could continue, and you could do alter alternate. So you could alternate, you could go one section here, one section here, one section here, one section here, to get it absolutely perfect. If you feel like, no, I can get that, you know, I feel okay, I've been doing it for a while, then you could literally work on one side, and then do the opposite side. So in this case now, be careful not to cut it too short because then you will have to go back through and do all the opposite side. All right, a little bit of pressure on me here now then. <laughs> all right, so literally working nice and blunt. So it's all blunt, working T to the parting or perpendicular, whatever you prefer to call it. Working on a, uh, a rounded graduation. And what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna literally just stop and check that balance. I know for a fact it's a little bit longer because I left it a bit longer because I wanted to make sure that my balance. With our edge combs, we've got a, a ruler on the spine. I don't know if you can kind of see that. If I zoom in there or I zoom in there, you'll be able to see there's a ruler on the spine. And we designed that so when you're checking balance, you can check your haircuts. So if it's an inch longer on the sides, let's have a look. It is just over an inch longer. All right, so I can measure it, and then I can measure my actual length all the way down. And then when I come to this side now, I can measure, and I can see that this is two inches longer. So that means I've got another inch to cut away, okay? 
So we've designed a little ruler on the spine of the comb to help with check your balance, to get nice control. Okay. So working through the flat part of your fingers, bringing all the hair to your body. And then you can check your balance if you wish. Okay. And then we now can continue. There's a lot of people joining this morning. A lot of people always like the short haircuts. So nice, thanks for following us guys. Hope everybody's well around the world. And then we just look to clip out each top section. We'll spin our mannequin around. I keep saying model. I'm so used to working on real people. But uh, with this lockdown situation and uh, you know how we've been working this year, it's been a lot of mannequins. All right, and then literally just working that nice and tight. Again, parallel to the section, so perpendicular, so combing from underneath, so you're building up that graduation, taking it nice and tight, and you're working right across the middle. So we're going right across. We don't want to create a little duck's tail. I don't want to have like a wedge going on. So I don't want to turn this into like a, a 70s haircut and create like a wedge. If you've got a client who said, look, I want to have a bit of heaviness into the middle, I'm just stopping the middle and you create a little wedge, okay? And uh, but I'm going right across, right across. So it's working more of a rounded graduation. So just again, combing down from on top so my elevation doesn't go too high or blunt. If you're watching and you feel like, I could do this, but I've got a client who likes it more choppier, you ch choose to point cut it then. Okay, I just want to make it all nice and clean and blunt, put the foundation in, and then I can always break it up later. The foundation of the haircut will make the haircut last longer. Okay, client will really appreciate that. The nice shape, all the friends, the family will compliment that lovely haircut. And I'm a big believer that like, you put the foundation in, it's like building a house. Okay? Put the foundation in, it's going to last longer. A good foundation lasts longer. But then all of a sudden, if I want to personalise this and chop into it and break it up a little bit, that's just a bit like decorating. Okay? So all of a sudden, I've bought a really nice apartment. It's got a great apartment. It's got great foundations. But all of a sudden, I want to put my own personal take on this. So if I put my own personal take on this, then I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to choose my own wallpaper, my own paint. All of a sudden then, it's down to me. What I see and what you see will be different than when you come to customization and personalizing the shape. All right, so there you have it. All right, a nice, clean, kind of rounded graduation within the nape area, both sides level. All right, if you wanted to, you could pick out from the same area, check your balance. You could get your edge comb with your little ruler on there and then literally just check out all your balance all the way through all right i'm looking for the same length all the way through there okay so once you're happy with that let's just quickly check and make sure we are happy i don't want to carry on if it's not right okay i'm loving that okay okay love it right so what we're going to do now we're going to tidy up all the uh, the outline okay so i'm going to go into the outline now so again just Point cut in that hairline. Again, if you'd like to keep it a little bit more solid and you wanted to make it a little bit more blunt, you can do. But taking that hairline a little bit stronger, only too choppy where it looks a bit too weak. But like I said earlier, this is all about customization. What you see and what I see are always going to be different. So you might want to round the Hairline, so maybe you might want to con you know concave it, you know, make it a little bit shorter in the middle. There's lots of things you could do with the hairline. You make it your haircut, not mine. All right, once you've done that, you tidy up the hairline, and then we can tidy up the back if you wish. I like to have some length there, so I can just tidy up a little bit. Some of you might want to take that a lot, lot shorter. I just want to keep some of the length there in there as well. I don't want to take it right to the hairline. Okay, so that's all the back completed. So just a quick recap, guys. It's just a round graduation. And I think now that the hair's starting to dry a little bit on camera, you can start to see that build-up of weight there. 
just come in nicely following the sectioning pattern. So we literally worked parallel to the parting, one, two, three, four. Keeping your elevation a little bit lower on the last couple of sections, 45 degrees. So distribution, the way I'm combing it is T to the parting. My elevation is 45 and we're cutting it parallel, okay? So it's all parallel to the parting, like a round graduation. All right, so that's all completed. So now we're gonna go on to the sides, okay? So we're gonna cut these sides now. All right, I don't wanna cut them completely off though. I wanna keep some femininity there as well. All right, I don't take it completely off and around the ears and stuff like that. So we're gonna leave some length on the sides. So the guideline at the top is our best friend. So we're gonna connect it. So we're gonna take the set. So right at the top, top section, not at the bottom, not at the bottom, but we're going to start at the top. So basically we're going to take a section underneath the horizontal, like so. And then we'll drop that down. And we're going to start at the top. Okay. We're going to then spin my model around so you can be able to see. And then I elevate this out at 90 from the head, ignoring the bottom area. Okay. So we're starting at the top. And where's my guideline? How short do I take this? There's my guideline. You can see it's sticking out. All right, it's the back. So it's the top section at the back. We carry that section on into the front. So my distribution, my elevation, okay, is 90 from the head, right out from the head at 90. And I'm gonna point cut this a little bit softer. I want it a bit softer through the front. Okay, so I'm just gonna point cut that, just parallel to the parting again. So my fingers are horizontal. My parting is horizontal. Okay, and I'm literally working all the way through. All right, and then you can start to see you've taken an area shorter. Okay, and what we're going to do now, I'm not just going to leave that long like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to travel. So we're going to over direct all that hair up, okay, to this guideline at the top. So it's over directing up, and we call that block layering or block graduation depending on how high you're going or how low you're going. So in this technique, I would call this a block graduation because I'm cutting it in a block, all right? So I, I can even use the larger teeth of my comb. So I grab all the hair now from underneath. So you're making sure that you're scooping, okay? And you're scooping all the hair up to that stationary guide. And what's that gonna do, guys? It's gonna maintain length in the perimeter. So let's point cut that off now. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna be left a bit longer in the bottom. All right, so then when I drop that down, oh, all of a sudden, I've got a little bit of length to play with, okay? I call that an optional length because I'm not sure if I wanna keep it all yet. I'm not sure, we'll have a look right at the end of the haircut. But I find that keeping it softer and wispier here is gonna keep it kind of feminine. Again, there's gonna be different choice. Some, some girls and boys who have this haircut I turn around and say, I hate it on my ears, I hate it. So let's just chop it all off, okay? Now all of a sudden you do exactly the same on the opposite side. So I get the guideline from behind. So it's on the, on the guide. My fingers, parallel. Let's spin my model around. So let's set a better camera angle. All right, that seems to be the money shot. All right, so look, you're just dropping that down. You're bringing that straight out. You've got your guideline, it's in my fingers there. There's my guideline. And then we just work parallel. Remember, I'm point cutting, just to give it a bit of softness. You could go to the larger blade if you wanted to in edge, but most people, we don't own like three or four pairs of scissors. You know, some, some hairdressers who are watching, we might just have one scissor and that's it, and it does everything, okay? Some, some hairdressers, they might have two or three pairs of scissors, which is always nice, okay? So in this case, I'm just using the 6.25 Classics from Edge, and we're just literally over-directing all that hair now up, and you create a great little shot there, really, as you can see, the over-direction scooping up, okay? maintaining maximum length through those sides. Okay, we can drop that down and you can see a beautiful shot for the back, okay? 
So there's your rounded graduation, beautiful. Now it's drying naturally as well under the lights. And then all of a sudden, then you've got a nice little profile shot there as you've got that little bit of softness and femininity to it. It's up to you if you want to carve that away. Do we want to keep some of this? You know, it all comes down to suitability of your client. You know, and the key to any haircut is a really good consultation. So when I do a consultation, guys, I always do the same questions. And some of you might have seen me talk about consultations before, if you've been following Edge before. But for me, behind the chair and stuff, I ask the three questions, yeah? What do you love about your hair? What do you hate about your hair? And what product are you using in your hair at the moment? That really gives me a lot to go on, okay? So if she turns around and she says, I hate my hair being long, I want to take it short, okay. Uh, is there anything you hate about it? And if we go short, I don't want to see my ears. I don't want to be like a boy. I don't want to be too short. All of a sudden, then I've got some ideas of how short she can go. All right, so I'm just going to dry it off. I've right, just got a hair dryer, a comb. I don't need a brush. I don't want to get it big. Okay? So just keep it flat. So use your comb to dry it. I don't need big hair, guys. I don't want it big. Keep that all nice and flat. Okay, use your nozzle if you wanted to. You just dry that off. We're going to drain all that off. Really nice and simple. Okay, that's not difficult. I'm sure my blow dries were like that. <laughs> all right, so all of a sudden you dry that off and then you can start to see the shape. Okay, you can start to see what you like, what you don't like. I am gonna to go to the larger blade now because I'm gonna customize a little bit, guys. These are our sevens, if you've never seen them before. So again, I don't wanna break it up too much. As a hairdresser, you understand the shape and get that absolutely perfect, that graduation. And I don't want to go in and just smash the hell out of it and then I've lost the complete foundation. All right, so following the shape, the same shape. So look, if I put that in the comb there, there you go, perfect. You can see the lovely shape what we've cut in. If I wasn't confident with my graduation and there was a big hole here, or it was bumps and lumps and all off balance, then I would probably, probably go in and personalise it quite a bit just to hide all my mistakes. So what I'm doing here, I'm thinking about how the haircut is going to grow out. Okay, so this is why I'm just customising a little bit, thinking about if this was a real life scenario, how would this grow out on this lady? All right, if she's got a colour placement in here, I want to make sure the colour blends in as well. All right. So just making sure that the whole look works really well. So you can see just a little bit of deep point cutting. And why I work with the sevens is because I can get deeper into the hair. So I find these are really good for like customizing or cutting dry hair. And then when I come to the sides, look, I want to take out the weight through the top. Okay, so through the top area, I'll take some weight out. And then through the underneath, I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to make that wispy and weak. Okay, so it's understand when you're customising, you're also following the same methodology of how you've done the haircut. You don't just pick it up and start hacking away. Okay, all right, so we're happy with the underneath. We can tidy up all that perimeter and all this length later. All right, I don't want to end up cutting too much off it yet. Okay, so now we're going to go into the top and connect it. If you're a hairdresser who loves disconnections and you wanted to create a little funky undercut. You could basically disconnect this now and you could literally just put a layer in there if you wanted to and just let all this fall over it. You know, I've done that day in, day out. So I just wanted to do something a bit fresh and a bit different today. All right, but that's just my personal opinion. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to work parallel to the, uh, to the triangle. I'm trying to think what it was. So we've got a triangle in here, right? And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to work triangle and then bring it down onto the guideline, bring it down onto the guideline. So eventually I run out of hair through this top. So all this crown area is going to be basically combing down to a stationary 
guideline. And what that means, it's going to get heavier and heavier and heavier and create more shape. All right, if you felt like that, well, I didn't want to do that, then you could disconnect, have it slightly softer, and then add in a little bit of a, uh, a layer. Okay, I'm honoured to be one of your students, Anthony, today. Oh, Tony, how are you, my friend? Never stop learning. Thank you so much. Thanks for the, uh, the nice comment. All right, it's, uh, it's always good to never stop learning. I'm a big believer of that. Okay, we never stop learning. If we stop learning as a hairdresser, then sometimes we have to look and say, do we, do we love our job anymore? There's always something new. A new approach to a haircut, a new product. You know, products are changing all the time. When I first started hairdressing, you know, I'm showing my age here now, but we only had mousse, hairspray, a wax, and a gel. And all of a sudden now, there's probably 50 or 100 products in certain ranges now. And you're like, wow, what are all these products? There's so much choice out there now. Okay, so I'm gonna change my body so you can have a better look where we're going. So I'll get a nice camera angle. So you can see literally I'm gonna work diagonal backs and I'm gonna work all the way through and I'm gonna bring everything down onto that stationary guideline. I'm gonna lo lo lose the large teeth of the comb, why? Some people have a double crown, they could have a whirl, they could have a bit of movement around that crown. So let's uh, not put too much tension on there. Okay, and we'll just bring it down onto that stationary guideline. And can you see what I'm doing? I think you can. Let's get that comb in a better angle. Like that, and then let's go for it. Okay, and we're just gonna step around the head. And we're just creating a nice graduation here, guys. Okay, I'm just bringing everything down onto the stationary guideline. Okay. So diagonal backs. Coming down to natural form. And just follow that shape. And like I said before, it's getting heavier and heavier. But if you felt like, oh, I didn't want this to be too heavy, I wanted it to be a bit more shattered, I wanted it to be not as classic in a way, then you could literally just slightly do a disconnection and then introduce the layer. So what you would do, if, you, if you've got a client who says, look, I want it a little bit funkier, or I love this haircut, I've had it now for a couple of months, and I just want to have a slight change because I think having a slight change keeps your clients interested and also coming back to you. Because I've never heard of a new client come to me and say, I love my hairdresser. It's usually, I'm bored. My hairdresser does the same haircut on me every time. Sometimes I don't even get a consultation anymore. You know, so I'm bored. So we don't want it to fall into that category. So we have to give our clients little changes all the time. And the little changes like it doesn't have to be a big change, like a fringe, or like chop it all off, but a little change by leaving the hair longer, or taking the, the fringe shorter, or introducing a, a layer. So all of a sudden now, they can start to see a nice little shape coming through. If you felt that looked a little bit too classic looking, next time just disconnect and then introduce the layer. All right, so you would ignore this part and then introduce everything is that natural form yes yeah so it's literally working on a diagonal okay so you know we'll comb that down and then that's natural fall natural fall and then literally working everything natural fall basically run out of hair and if the lady's hair was already layered say like this was layered uh, then it might not even reach hopefully that looks natural for to everybody on the camera so the question it's good you know obviously my body positioning through the camera I'm always conscious of that I want to make sure you get a C but yeah it's natural for guys and then we just comb all that down And there you 
have your nice little shape coming through. everything down onto that stationary guideline so basically it's natural fall all the way down and like I said before there's different experience watching so if you're a hairdresser and you're like oh, I could easily do this you do it in one go <laughs> all right once you've got that foundation in there then if you're a faster hairdresser and well experienced you can just bring all that down onto that guideline yeah if this is heavily layered it's not going to reach so you bring everything down to that guideline you don't have to go section by section by section all right uh, because we are going to layer this to make it a bit more funkier, all right? We don't want to make it too classic and too uh, flat, okay? All right, but you can start to see, you can, it's kind of nice because you can see the wet hair and the dry hair. So underneath in the nape, that's dry. But now that wet hair, you can start to see where it's sitting. And it's really, you've got to really make sure that the weight line sits underneath the O-bone. So once this is dried, this is going to complement, as you can see, the head shape. There's nothing much worse than this going too high. Yeah, so you want to make sure that complements the head shape. So we're making sure that it's underneath the occipital bone. Okay, right, so that's all the back completed. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the sides. Okay, hi friends, can you recap how you cut the nape area? Okay, hi Kelly, how are you my darling? So the nape area, just to recap it, we did a, like a round graduation. Okay, so with the rep, with the nape area, we started at the uh, behind the ear, and I worked diagonal backs, and it was literally a large triangle, and I just literally worked diagonal, 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 forty-five degrees. Okay, rounded graduation, and then we're bringing everything onto the uh, onto that weight line. So now we go on to the top. Okay, the top. Right. So what we're going to do now is I want to connect it into the sides. So we're going to go horizontal, just like we did on the sides. So drop that down. And we're just literally going to go and bring everything down onto this stationary guideline. So remembering, if we go underneath here, there was one section shorter, yeah? And then we over-directed up to work on like a block graduation. So now what we're going to do now, we're going to bring everything down onto that guideline. Creating like a, a nice little bowly kind of modern day shape. So we're going to stand on the side, we're going to comb it down to natural fall. And you have two guidelines here, guys. I know it might sound a bit weird, two guidelines. But you have a guideline underneath, and you have a guideline behind the radial. So the hair, what you've just cut, yeah, is also going to be connected into the front. But also the underneath, that little weight line there, is bringing it down onto it. So we're bringing it down onto that guideline, but also connecting in the back into the sides. Okay, if that makes sense to everybody, hope so. Okay, so we're just gonna comb it down. A large teeth of the comb, because I'm working with a bit of hair there and I don't want to get carried away. So we're just bringing everything down onto that guide, like so. And then you can start to see this is gonna get heavier and heavier, this weight line now. Okay, so we're just going to bring everything down. And then, like I said earlier, if the hair was layered, the client had short layers already in here, it wouldn't reach. Okay, and then just literally work to wherever you need to. Yeah, so maybe just going past the middle parting. because we're going to layer all this top anyway as well. I don't want it to keep it too heavy. So what I love about this haircut, when I'm thinking about like what's my next stage of the haircut and like how I'm taking you through it, what I love about it personally is there's so many ways you can take this haircut and there's so many choices and what you, what you see and what I see are always going to be different. So what I love about it, some of you might look at this and go, oh, I love this shape, it's really nice, I could do this on a, quite a few clients. Because when you watch education videos, you start to think of which client would have this. Oh, I've got a client next week who could come in and have this haircut. Oh, that'd be great. I've got a family member who could have this haircut. But then also, we might be looking at this and going, oh, I could take it shorter. I could leave it longer. 
oh, I would take it choppier. Oh, I don't kind of like it at the moment, but I could take it a bit shorter than what Anthony's doing. And that's what makes it your haircut, not my haircut. And, you know, I'm looking at it now thinking a slight disconnection in here would make it a little bit softer. If I wanted a heavier layer through the top, could make it a bit more funkier, a little bit more, give it more texture. Uh, if a client says, I don't like layers, I don't like big hair, I like it a little bit more flatter. Naturally, my hair goes big anyway, then I wouldn't put a layer in there. Then all of a sudden you think, oh, what else could you do? You could do something different within the fringe. So that's what I love about this haircut. You could do, you know, it's endless. You know, you've got lots of different ways you could take it to the next, next level. So we're just bringing everything down onto that stationary guideline. So it all comes down onto the guideline, like so. And that is our top and back connected through. Okay. And then some of you might go, oh, I love the fringe and all that. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna chop the fringe off, sorry. <laughs> all right, I just, I, it's nice to have it like that. But I wanna do something a bit different in the fringe. So let's dry it off and let's have a look at the shape because this could be completely finished if you wanted to. But I'm gonna carry on and do a little bit of customizing and break it up a bit more. But I wanna show you like variations of this look. So if we dry this off now, going to look a little bit heavier. It's going to look quite heavy through the sides now as you can see that shape is coming through nicely. But like I said before I wanted to make this more of a crop. I wanted to make it a little bit like a you know a bit of a pixie. At the moment because of the length on the top it doesn't look very pixie-ish. looks kind of heavy and bowly. But I wanted to give you a, 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 you know, in a way, I'm only doing one haircut today, but I want you to look at this and think, wow, he's given me like six haircuts to do in one shape. That's what I'm trying to achieve. It's not just like, okay, there you go, there's one short haircut. Go back and copy it. Look at it and think, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about this shape? And then make it your own. So we're just drying that off. And then we're going to just detail it wherever necessary. Alright, so let's spin it around so you can have a little bit of a look at the profile at the back now as well. So you can start to see the shape at the back. Yeah, you start to see that beautiful shape, how it's falling. Hope you guys like it. You know, and then you can start to think about colour placement. You know, because as a hairdresser, we can do a fantastic haircut. And how do we make our haircut even look better? Colour. How do I make more money? How do I make more money? Add-ons. Buy some products. Have some colour. The holidays are coming. I need to get some money from my little girl. <laughs> you know, not being cheeky, but that's how it works, isn't it? We love our job. We love it. We love doing hair, but we also love money. Okay, so you just move that around and then you start to see what you love about it, what you hate about it. For me, being left heavier on the top, it reminds me of the 80s when I first started hair. Okay? Very Alinda Vanchalishka, you know, the model, you know, things like that. Very heavy, you know, there's a lot of models at the time, lots of campaigns wearing the hair like this that was really broken up and then really kind of wiggy and heavy on the top. Kelly, chop it. Thanks darling. I know I'm going to chop it. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this chopped because I'm going to chop most of this fringe off anyway. Alright, but some of you who are watching, you might like this and like this length on the top. And you're like, okay, I like that kind of shape. It's very playful, very fun. And that's why I wanted to dry it before cutting it all off on the top. Because there's one haircut there. There's another haircut. So if you've got a client who's got fine hair, yeah, 
But naturally her hair goes big anyway. And she says, look, I have big hair. It naturally goes quite big. Yeah, then you could just leave it like that. Yeah, it looks nice and heavy and nice and full. Okay, so you've got that as an option there. Nice little optional kind of nice little shape there. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, and then we can literally go in and break this up even more. So I'm going to go back to my old sevens and I'm going to break this up. So we're going to introduce a layer now through this top. Okay, so we're going to layer this top area. So what you'll see is going to be a point in the top because everything basically is pulled, pulled down to the sides. And we've got a point of weight through the top area. So I'm just going to take off that weight through the top. So starting from behind, the, around the crown, Come that through in a salon situation. Let's get it over her eyes so she can see. Okay, and then we just literally just bring everything up on the base. We're gonna do like a square layer, guys. Okay, and then how short you take it through the top is honestly up to you. Okay, and I'm just gonna create a little bit of chop choppiness. Okay, through there. We'll take that all square through the top. Really break that up. Introducing a nice little layer all the way through. If you wanted to maintain a fringe, this is where you would maybe over direct, come off the base. If a client said, Look, I want a long fringe because you don't want to take out too much weight. But I'm just bringing everything on the base at 90 and I'm just cutting off all that bulk in the top, in that middle section, so in the middle. So getting rid of the point, working it square. So all the hair's coming to the ceiling. So all up to the ceiling. All right, so all up there. Just point cut through, break that up. Just make sure that we're nice and clean all the way through. While I'm doing this, you know, we've got all our education now for next year online. So if you want to check out any of our education for 2021, all the dates are available now on edge74.com. So if you go on edge74.com, you see all the classes, what we're offering next year. You can book on and, uh, you know, come to our academy and do our classes. Uh, they're all available now to book. Okay, starting off in January with our most popular class, I want to be an educator. So any of you want to be an educator, or you know some hairdressers who'd love to get involved in education and how to become a teacher, we do a three-day boot camp, which is phenomenal. So I'm one of our most popular classes we do. Okay, so you can see that kind of nice texture coming through. Loving what we've got going on so far. Okay, just looking a little bit heavy now. See where this weight line is here? because we brought everything down onto that stationary guideline. Just felt like it's looking a little bit too bowly. That's my personal preference. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in and break up that weight line a little bit with some deep point cutting. If you, did, if you had this as a disconnection and it was slightly disconnected, then you wouldn't have this weight line. This would fall a little bit looser. So again, these are things to look out for. Would you want to disconnect and then go straight to the layer? Or did you like how we connected it and then we can break it up like this? Again, these are just personal choices. I wanted to give you a bit of variation today. I wanted you to see what it looked like heavy. I wanted you to see what it looked like connected. Um, and then I wanted them to show you with a layer and then now softening that layer. So there you go, great example. See both sides. One side's a bit looser, one side's still a bit heavy. Some of you there might go, oh, I really like this, and some of you might prefer that side. So again, it's personal choice. Okay, we just elevate, and we just break that up, using the sevens, getting, getting in with those big old sevens, break it up, fantastic for customizing, a seven inch blade by Edge, beautiful blades, okay. If you're in San Diego and you're watching this, if you want to test these scissors out, give us a DM. We have a sample 
scissors going around San Diego. They're at certain salons at the moment, but we can put you on the list and you can, we can drop them off and you and the team can play around with our scissors for free. All right, you can test the scissors out, testing them out. And I have them for a couple of weeks, have some fun. All right, and see what you think of our scissors. All right, so you just break that up a little bit more. See what you like, see what you don't like about this shape. Okay, now we're gonna go in and break some of this length up, this bulk up. And then the final part of the haircut now, I'm starting to think about what don't, well, you know, what I don't like. I don't like the front. I personally do not like that front. It just looks so dated, but that's my personal opinion. So I'm gonna literally now break the front up a little bit more. around move it around move it around see what it looks like okay I'm loving this kind of length at the bottom so I want to keep some of this just want to break it up a bit more along the length loving these kind of wispy bits keeps it nice and soft and feminine Nice to be at home on my own. Everyone else is in the salon today. I was trying to do this in our academy, this haircut, and uh, the girls kicked me out. The salon's too busy. So I'm at home in our, I'm at home in our uh, little den. Got the queen behind me, as you can see, this is the queen. <laughs> All right, she's watching me. All right, and then what we're gonna do now is just this fringe, you know. Would you wanna keep it long? Do you like that? Some of you might like this. You know, some of you might look at that and think, wow, I love that shape, it's wicked. All right, so nice little shape coming through. Very modern. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I wanna open this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna work it a little bit more concave, this fringe. I'm gonna take the fringe completely off. I'm gonna make it more now. All right, so a little bit more of a rounded, kind of concave fringe, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna take all that fringe away, okay? But again, that's just personal preference. All right, so I'm going to comb it from the middle, okay, and I'm going to cut this off, okay, so I'm going to cut all the fringe off. So I'm going to comb it down, and I'm going to just literally be quite aggressive there. Okay. And I want to keep it really kind of chunky, okay. I don't want it feathered. All right, I don't want a feathered fringe. I want to keep it like a little bit chunky. So I'm just cutting that onto the skin. And you start to opening up the face a little bit. Okay, but again, honestly up to you, what you prefer, okay? And then, same. See, if I was doing a hair competition, I'd probably leave it like that. <laughs> All right. Isn't it, isn't it funny how some of these hair competitions, the more weird the hair is, the more you win. All right, so, you know, salon situation, client would probably go, what the hell are you doing? But in a hair competition, I'll probably win. <laughs> okay. All right, so again, just breaking that up. And then for me, it's really tempting to do this and go in power out like that and break that up. What that's gonna do though, that's gonna make that wispier and break that up and that's gonna make it more feathered. Depending on your client is what she wants. So some of the clients might turn around and say, uh, I want it really wispy. If they do, then you go in and do some deep point cutting. My mom has short hair. She likes, she always says, can you feather the fringe? Can you make it really wispy, the fringe? And what she means is basically just make it a lot thinner. So when it's my mom or like a maturer client, I would go in this way. But if it's a you know somebody who wants to be, be a bit more modern with the fringe, my mum's still modern at her age and stuff. She's got a really cool, funky little um, pixie. So what I would do then, I would literally comb, put my scissors in the top like this, comb it down like channel cutting. So you know when you go in, when you go in and you open and close your blade like a channel cut. But I call it J to the parting. I came up with this a few years ago where I cut it on a J. So what I do, I bring it down like so, 
and then I bend my scissor like on a, like, make, making the letter J shape. So think about the letter J, it goes down and then round, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do with the scissor. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna bend it on the J, and guess what, I'm gonna cut it on the J. And then all of a sudden I'm cutting little chunks out and I'm making it a little bit like she's cut her own fringe a little bit and making it a little bit more chunky and broken up. And I'm cutting it on the J just to make it a bit more broken up that way. Right, so final section, just on the front here. Let's just get this little bit off. And like I said before, keeping it shorter in the front and longer on the outer edges. Love it where it's a little bit heavy, a little bit bowlier. Very now. If you look at this shape now, this is very now. A lot of hairdressers, lots of educators cutting stuff like this now. Okay. But it's a little bit pointy. I love that little pointness to it. I love it where it goes up. I don't want it too round. I like it where it goes into like a bit more of a point. I think it looks more, you know, it really complements the head shape and really complements the, the kind of the, the feeling what I'm going for. A little bit of channeling. And I love customising because what you see and what I see are always going to be a little bit different, like I said earlier. And then I go to the J now. I just literally bring that down and then cut on a J. Go down, cut on a J. Go down and cut on a J. But you're just cutting it and you're breaking it up a little bit more. See lots of thumbs up, so some people like it. Thanks guys for the support. It's, uh, what time is it now? Has it gone 10 o'clock? Oh, it's, wow, it's half past 10 here now. So I can go in an hour on this one. Normally I'm a little bit faster, but we did a little bit of talking today. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the demonstration today. We just came up with this over the weekend to do three haircuts in three days. Just to inspire you. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking for any money. I'm not asking for anything you to buy anything. I just wanted to give back to our industry to say, hey, we love you all. Thanks for following us and, uh, you know, seeing something new and fresh. And I hope this is something new and fresh for you to do in the salon. Okay, and just make it a little bit elfy looking, you know. You make it your haircut really. So, you know, pick out little bits, make it a little bit elfy looking. Spin about there, or is it better there? Maybe there, maybe there. There we go. I think we've got the money shot there, have we? I hope everyone's enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so, so much, guys. On behalf of myself and everybody at Edge here in our, our academy, uh, thanks for following us over 2020. It's been a crazy year for all of us in our industry. Touch wood, our salons in California stay open. I know we've got some friends in England and their salons have been closed and they're opening again in December. So I wish everybody a wonderful holidays. Uh, thanks for tuning in and seeing the shape. Uh, we'll post this video again on uh, Instagram and Facebook so you can revisit it and revisit the shape and uh, hopefully have some fun with it. Uh, we've got lots more education coming up in 2021. If you would like an educational brochure with all our classes and all the prices, please leave us a message and we can send you a brochure with all our classes on there. If you're interested in our comb or shears, we have our Black Friday sale happening over the weekend or happening tomorrow. Uh, so ask, you know, just send us a, a link and we can send you the link to the shop with our discount codes and you can get yourself a new pair of scissors or a comb. Uh, otherwise, for now, stay safe. Don't really need to say anything about it. Looks wicked, doesn't it? Okay, uh, nice little shape. Get ready on the profile as well if you want to see what it looks like on a profile. Okay, so it's just something fresh, something different. So it's round graduation through the back, connected through, block graduation on the sides, square layer through the top, and then a little bit more of a concave little fringe through the top, through the fringe. All right, uh, anybody could, uh, we are enjoying your demonstration, Anthony. Thank you, Tony. Amazing, thank you Tony, love your work. Thank you very much. 
So uh, please want more, or you want more, I'd love to give more. All right, I love sharing. All right, so thank you so much for all the comments and all the waves. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll post this again. Stay safe, guys. Love, love to you all.